again to uh, Fussell's TV and I'm here. It's really good to be back and I've managed to get my old friend John Mellican. Hi Dan. I'm really, good? really, really good, John. Yeah, How are you? Good to, yeah, not bad, not bad looking at all. Good, looking good yourself as well. You've been Better. to the gym lately, I believe. Yeah, I have actually, but you said to me earlier that I didn't look well, actually, so I'm quite surprised you said that. Okay, it's just all for the camera. It's right? all for the camera, that's what you <laughs> And you've got a shave, you've washed yeah, your hair. I've really covered everything, it's yeah. all getting on. You've all good, exactly. So, very, very briefly today, we've got a nice, quick little recipe for you. We are going to do a red pepper and chilli hummus. Are we not, John? Hopefully. And that's going to be using, that's going to be using our chilli oil. Correct. Okay, which is that one there. Uh, so, that's what we're going to do today. I'm not allowed to clap, that's my one. Ah, <laughs> I can't know that I can get all the way through. So let's get started, let's get straight in. We've done some prep already. Uh, let's clap over and, and what? <laughs> <laughs> what do we need? We've got some peppers, we've got some chickens, uh, how does it go? Basically, a uh, very simple recipe, Timothy. Mm -hmm. Chili oil, as you said. We need some peppers, fresh peppers. We're going to cut these down, which we've done already. I'll tell you how we did that. And basically, a little bit of cumin, a bit of red pepper, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic. Done. What have we chicken. done already to the, uh, to the peppers? So, basically, what we've done with the peppers is that obviously they've come in fresh. We've uh, dropped them in tin foil, yep. uh, a little bit of garlic and some garlic. Rip seed oil. Yep. And, and, I them, and I roast them 20 minutes. And, in the they, oven. and when they come out, they come out quite. Um, right. so, now I know yeah. you want me to do something. Yeah, please, well, please keep me on the payroll, yeah? So please yeah. keep you busy. Yeah. So what we've done is basically we've, um, in a sense, steamed them. Yeah. And the reason why we've done that is so we can get the skins off. Now, the okay. reason why we get the skin off is because it just it gives it a better mouthfeel. And also, it makes it blend a lot better when we without the skins off. Yeah. Right. And obviously, it makes it soft. So, yeah. Bongo, I'm going to leave this with you. You're going to leave it with me? Yeah, I am, yeah. Alright, so you crack on with that. I'm going to crack okay. on with this. And basically, I'm going to... And I've um, got to take the pips out and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, it's a two minute job. Two, it's a two minute job. Yeah, I'll see you in well, actually, hour. it's a minute job. We've got a six see, minute deadline. We've yet, got a six so. <laughs> I'll see you in about half an hour. Yeah, okay, no problem. So, what I've got going on here um, is basically I've got some chickpeas. Um, it's probably about a tin here. Um, basically, um, we've got about two tins, sorry. Pardon, pardon, pardon. But you, obviously, you can do fresh, which obviously you soak overnight. And you double the amount of volume of water to um, to a amount of chickpeas, and you'll find that it'll take it up. And then you cook so them. So the chickpeas, the chickpeas are soaking up the water. Is that right? Yeah. Well, when you do them from raw, yeah, you soak them um, from raw, yeah, um, as in a dry product, and you do them out of water over twenty four hours. You know, put them in the fridge, take them back out, and you boil them up. That lemon juice, bay leaf, thyme, and, uh, and basically you get to this point here. And obviously, they, but these are tin, very quick. It's obviously you can relate to it at home. Right. Okay, cool. So what we're doing here is basically putting uh, probably about half a tin uh, of chickpeas, or probably about a tin, sorry. A little bit of garlic. Uh, I'm going to put two in, um, in here, two cloves. I this, is, this, this is, this is, this is, um, you gonna, this is a little harder than I thought. Ah, was. Timothy, you're moaning again. It's not what? like you. <laughs> 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 This is, a, work. this is a uh, this is a technical yeah it's a bit faffy but you know the thing is that if you put the time into things you get the best out of it is that right is yeah that well right? that's what you told me when I first met you so <laughs> I just <can't. laughs> no so I put three cloves in yeah uh, you can put a bit more in if you wish uh, depends how garlic you want it obviously and basically now um, just waiting for you, Timothy. Really. You're waiting for me, right? Yes. Okay, well, I've done one of them in there. Okay, cool. Now, it's worth noting as well that this uh, recipe is already on the website. Yeah. Okay, so you can go on over to Fussell's Fine Foods. That's www.fusselsfinefoods.co.uk. And the recipe is already up there, so you can download that or you can just look at it straight away and um, get yourself some of this lovely hummus made for the weekend. Right. A little bit of salt. I'm actually going to take some of these chickpeas out, actually, Timothy, because um, I want to get like a really red effect. You want to get a really yeah. red effect? Yeah, right. so I'm going to take these. Take these, go put this in here. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to take this out of your hands. God, you can, I think uh, the producer was right. It'll be a 15 minute take this one there, Timothy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically, we just peel these back, yeah? You're just, pe you're just peeling them back. I'm yeah. trying to peel them back in. You know, um, but we'll get the sound in next time, I think. Uh, really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to get you again, John, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. So what else has been happening since we last... Um, well, I've learned how to peel peppers. Like you've learned there. how to peel peppers? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. And that's been pretty good. So I'll put them in there like that. Right, there you and, go. Uh, oh, yeah, put this out. So then, yeah. and then we're going to put these. Hang on, put that in there as well. Put that in there. So we're putting all that. Okay. And 
we're going to turn it on, this usually works. Okay, the electricity bill again, I don't know my god, what's going on. So we'll put it in this, right? I'm already doing it. Have we, have we got the chili oil in there yet? No, not yet, not yet. What we want to do, we want to keep all the dry stuff in there, yeah. and we want to keep it to get a good blitz. Yeah. Right? So, and the reason why we do that is so we get more of a, a, more of a case. Okay. Or onto it, yeah? So we're going to put a little bit of chili oil in there now. You can see now it's coming down to a pulp, yeah? Yeah. You might not be able to take that out whilst going. Put a little bit of this in here. Just a bit. It could probably looking at about a good hundred mils, yeah. Good. Look at that. Yeah. That is going to knock. Obviously, the more you, the more you play, the more, the more hot it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go. Uh, what are you going to do? I've got a bit of water here. Just, so so that's, that's the water from the pepper. Yeah. yeah. And what this will do is just loosen it up a bit. Okay. Now you can see the nice consistency, it's very simple, yeah? And obviously what we're going to do now is taste this. I've obviously put salt in it already. Amazing. Is it? Oh, there we go, it's amazing already. It's, amazing, yeah. it's got a big, it's got a lot, of, it's got a bit of heat in it. I've got a bit more chilli oil in it, so I like a bit of heat. You like a bit of heat? Yeah. Right, so now we're going to screen this out onto our... So obviously, you know, very simple, have a few drinks, friends around, some hummus, you know, very, it's just easy there, you know, a bit of hummus. So you can see the consistency, yeah? Yeah. Now, um, so that's what I'll do with that. So they've got another that. So loads left over, I'll put that in the fridge later. Yeah. So, uh, are we going to decorate this or are we just going to get it stuck straight in? Yeah, always decorating to the thing. Always decorating. Yeah, it's a bit like, a bit like my house. Bit there, yeah. So I put a bit of pie on there for, for a bit of love. And I've got some black sesame seeds. You've got some black sesame seeds? Yeah. yeah. Easy. Oh my goodness easy. gracious me. How easy is that? Let's move this one out of the way. Yeah. Okay. And so we've got some little breadsticks here. Yeah, so just crack on, yeah. So, yeah. This is it. So now, just before we go, I'm going to taste this, but just before we go, you know um, the website. Uh, now, where do you get the chilli oil from? If you go on over to our stockist page, there is a map and it shows you where all our stockists are. If you are local, then please come on by, knock on the door, come in and you can get it direct from us. Um, look out as well for any discount codes that are up on our social media. Uh, the social media links are all at Fussell's Rapeseed for Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And a lot of the posts always have a discount code in them, so be on the watch out for those. So let's get stuck in, John. Let's have a little taste, shall right. we? So yeah, so um, I've got the food. Where's the drinks? Oh, yeah. How simple was that? Yeah. Nice, chef. Yeah. A little bit of heat as well. No heat. Well, the heat as we look on, the heat starts to come through now. So that's it. I know um, Andrew, who's behind the camera, is dying to get his hands on some of the hummus now. <laughs> so we're going to wrap that up and we will look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, thanks very much, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.